Yo, how much junk do I have? Having had WhatsApp for so many years now, the amount of pure rubbish that has just built up is insane. So, today I thought I'd share with you guys a super quick guide on how you can easily and optimally remove WhatsApp junk files straight from your phones. And at the same time, recover some much needed storage, especially for you guys who love to save those cat memes. Oh yeah, and let's not forget these live wallpapers. These ones come straight from my very own Epic Live wallpaper app, which I'll leave a link for down below. Now in order to optimally work through our WhatsApp junk, we're going to use the app promptly named WhatsApp Cleaner, which is available directly from GitHub and FDroid. It's an open source app that you can actually speak directly with the developer via GitHub, which is why above all other WhatsApp cleaning apps, this one is the one that I've chosen to go with. I'm not so yeah old for being banned from the Play Store. You tripping, bro. You tripping. Now, once installed, make sure to allow it all of the permissions that it needs in order to work correctly. And depending on your phone, the Android version, you might even need to select where the location of the WhatsApp folder is. It's just one of those things with the new Android OS. So it's not really a big deal, but of course, with any app, there comes the risk of data leaks. But from what I've seen so far of the app, it doesn't really send any packages off your phone. Like, there's no data usage at all. Anyway, check out this example image. This is where your WhatsApp folder should be located. Inside Android, media, home.whatsapp folder, WhatsApp. So you, once you do have a sound, just give it a couple seconds to load in. It will scan through your files and then categorize every single one of them into different folders. So you've got your images, your video, your documents, GIFs, and so forth. And inside each one of these categories, you can see the files you received and the files you've sent. So literally, all that's left to do is scroll through, select the ones you want to delete. You can even select the whole folder if you want and just hit delete. Obviously, once it's deleted, it's gone forever. So keep that in mind. 392 megabytes of GIFs? Jesus.